Welcome back, everyone. You are enjoying another episode of Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition, brought to you by Taylor 2 Hygienist in partnership with Elevate Oral Care. And now, please welcome your host, Tom Viola. Hi, I'm Tom Viola, a certified pharmacist, dental educator, and author. Stick with me, and I promise to make the next few minutes the best pharmacology learning experience you've ever had. Hi, everybody. This is Tom Viola. Really excited to bring you yet another edition of Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition. So, when I decided to do this series, I wanted to come up with a way to make pharmacology practical and applicable for you in everyday practice. Okay, well, how to do that exactly? Well, my thought process was start at the beginning, right? So, in these first few editions, we'll talk about the very beginning of how to use pharmacology in daily practice. And then as we get further down the road, more additions, we'll talk about more involved cases where pharmacology becomes uh, important to you in practice. But nothing like starting at the beginning. So let's do that. And the beginning, of course, is what? Intake, right? The patient's medical history. Probably the most important thing you can do in an appointment is actually getting a complete and accurate medical history because the medical history tells you everything you need to know about that patient and helps you make those great clinical decisions you make every day and treatment planning and patient management. Okay, Tom, how do I take a medical history? Well, that's a good question Uh, because I've heard this a lot. I've heard any changes to your medications, but that automatically sets you up perhaps for failure because the easy answer to that question is, nope, no changes, because to answer that question with anything else would mean that I'd have to answer more questions as a patient. And so why would I want to do that when I could just say no and everybody's happy? Okay, so... Uh, maybe we don't want to go down that road necessarily. Maybe we want to ask some more general but more pointed questions. So my way of taking a medical history really resides with three questions, okay? First one is, what do you take? Now, I don't use the D word for drug. I don't use the M word for medications because some folks have difficulty deciding what's a drug and medication versus what's not. I don't use those words at all. I just say, what do you take? And that way, I get everything. I get the prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, dietary supplements, stuff to do on the weekends. I get everything, okay? And that's good for me because the more I know, the better. Then what? Well, the second question is, why do you take it? Well, why would I want to know that? Well, I mean, don't, don't they think I know that already? If they tell me the name of a medication, shouldn't I know why they take it? Well, maybe you don't. And that's because medications can be used for different things. So for example, a drug like Norvasc, which is a calcium channel blocker, can be used for angina, arrhythmia, or hypertension. Well, how do I know which one is being used for, Tom? You don't. That's why you have to ask, right? And again, that gives you more information on that patient and their specific conditions. So what do you take? Why do you take it? But then the third question, which seems obvious, has to be asked, which is, did you take it today? Because I know a lot of people who take blood pressure medications that don't take blood pressure medications. (laughs) So it's important to know exactly what, why, and when to be able to fill in all the blanks because the bottom line is this. The medical history tells you everything you need to know. It's the most valuable piece of information you have. It's also the hardest to get. Okay, As I've often said to audiences, the greatest blessing ever bestowed upon dentistry when it comes to medical histories is you can take the patient's medical history directly from the patient themselves. They're sitting right there. And the greatest curse ever inflicted upon dentistry was you could take the patient's medical history directly from the patient themselves. They're sitting right there. Why is that a curse and a blessing at the same time? Because if the patient's knowledgeable about their medical history, you get all the information without breaking a sweat. But what if they're not? What if they really don't know about their medical history very much or or What if they don't want to tell you certain things? See, the trick here, why pharmacology is so valuable, is that if you know a patient's medications and you know roughly a a, a comprehensive uh, knowledge of pharmacology, what medications are used to treat, then you can fill in the blanks. And that's the best way to get a complete medical history and make those awesome clinical decisions you make every day. So thank you so much, my friends. Looking forward to our next edition. See you soon. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to hear more from me, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or visit my website at www.tombiola.com.
Thank you for listening to another episode of Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition, brought to you in part by Elevate Oral Care, creators of the innovative and proven prevention-focused oral care products from Advantage Arrest Silver Diamine Fluoride to Floramax Sodium Fluoride Varnish. Learn more by visiting www.elevateoralcare.com and schedule your free CE staff meeting today. We'll see you next time for another Fast Fact.